Three, two, one. Yo, what's happening, guys? It's your boy Wolfie here. We are back. Now, the first you want to do on this video, as always, is hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also hit that bell so you do get a brand new notification every time I do drop a brand new video. And last but not least, if you want to go and drop my Twitch channel down in the description below, www.twitch.tv forward slash Connor Wolf. Go and drop that a follow. I am currently streaming Pez at this meantime while waiting for FIFA 21 to drop. So you will see all of that good stuff. So what we have got for you today is my first ever video on my YouTube channel that isn't FIFA. Yes, of course, FIFA 21 is not out yet, but PES 21 did drop. And someone that I know at Konami, Graham, hooked me up with the code and said, you know what, go and have some fun with the new PES and let me know what you think of it. So here we are, guys. I'm showing you PES 2021 gameplay, specifically my club, because me, of course... Being a professional FIFA player and the FIFA competitive scene is on Ultimate Team. I will be playing my club on PES, so here we are. What we've got for you on your screen is just the setup. Obviously, I don't have the PES Universe download pack yet, so I don't have all the clubs and badges. There is a download to get the PES Universe link. You put it onto a memory stick, plug it into your PS4, hit a few buttons, bam, you have all the updated kits and packs just like that. Chuck-a-boom, chuck-a-boom, King Bob is your uncle. So what we've got for you is here, you're just picking your team of your my club, your clubs and your badges. You, what you then get is you then get a new manager. Now, of course, this is my first ever video on the channel where I'm giving you something other than FIFA. So, of course, if you guys really, really, really enjoy this content, you know, if it gets a lot of views, you guys smash that thumbs up for me. I will, of course, carry this on even when FIFA drops. I will carry on the Pez content for you guys to show you guys where we are at with my club. So at the start, like kind of like FIFA on the team, you get a lone player. So of course, I went for Kylian Mbappe for four games. But then we then got something which I did not realise, which you will see in a minute. These are the players that we've got. Absolute doo-doo. You don't want any of them. Obviously, but a few of them are actually still in the team, actually, at the moment. But what we do then get... It's something which I didn't really expect. So this is, again is probably something where Pez needs to take a leaf. No, FIFA needs to take a leaf out of Pez's book. You get a load of free stuff just because I played the game last year. And when I mean free stuff, I don't mean FIFA's version of free stuff, you know, where you get like a 7.5k pack and stuff like that. I mean, we actually get, which you'll see soon, some really, really, really nice stuff, which I was really, 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 really shocked about, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we get here is a normal, just gold ball, Granit Xhaka, gold ball, so you have balls on Pez, you have bronze, no, do you have bronze? I don't know if you do, no, you have white, silver, gold, and then black, black balls are the best, of course, you then have, like, gold ones, red ones for, like, icons and iconic moments, stuff like that, so we get a free player, which is a gold ball, Granit Xhaka, which by itself isn't great, but you'll actually see soon why that's actually quite a good thing. And we actually get three of them. We get Martinez and we do get Eric Dyer, actually. And that, I've actually forgot I've got Eric Dyer, so I can put him in my. Wow, I'm actually an idiot. So, what we get here, by the way, we get 15 Black Bulls. And all of these players that you guys see on your screen, we get the chance of one of these players. So, a Black Ball Messi, a Black Ball Ronaldo, a Black Ball Lewandowski, a Black Ball Abamian. The Abamian was the one I wanted. Di Abamian and Ronaldo was the one that I wanted. Dybala, PK, De Jong. De Jong actually would have been really good. Kimmich would have been really good as well. Who's that? Lacazette. Lacazette would have been a beast, actually. Bruno Fernandes, Gnabry, Rashford, De Ligt, Xhaka, Maguire. So we got this for free. Just by doing a couple of stuff. We actually got this collector box for free. A Pez 20 to 21 feature player. And as you guys will see here, this is the animation for when you open a pack. You see here, look, it goes to like the My Club screen, it then goes around the world kind of thing, and it takes us to England, which means the player is in England. Who do we get? We get a special 88 rated Granite Xhaka, and once again, this is where Pe FIFA needs to take a book out of Pez's, like, leaf, a leaf out of Pez's book. Yeah, is that the same? I think that's the same. So we get an 88 rated Granite Xhaka, and what that means is that gold Granite Xhaka that we got before that's obviously lower rated, we can convert that one into an XP trainer and then put that XP trainer on to this Granite Xhaka. And then all of a sudden, this Granite Xhaka becomes a 91 rated player. Kind of good, isn't it? But in terms of gameplay, guys, what do I think of Pez as a whole compared to FIFA? Eh, actually, no. What I'm going to do for you right now, guys, is as you see here, just for playing Pez 2020, just for playing Pez 2020, because I did play. I never put any YouTube videos. Out. I used to just play on stream from time to time. As you guys see here, we got three. We got five free iconic moments players. Okay, five of them. 
five free iconic members. Just for playing the PES 2020, by the way. So just for playing PES 2020, we got five. And what you are seeing here is me converting Jackie. You see, I've got an 83 rated and an 88 one. We then convert this Shaka into an, uh, it's called an EXP, an XP trainer. And what you then see is, is you then make that 88 Shaka that I've already got better. So you'll see me now do it in a minute. Which is kind of something that FIFA needs to do. So it makes duplicates actually have a bit of value and a bit of reason. And obviously you get duplicates on FIFA. And you just discard them, don't you? See here, look, you XP Granny Shaka up. Really easy to do, really simple. Again, it's just something that Pez... I've really got on lock, if I'm being honest. It's definitely something FIFA should be looking at. Because duplicates just have no value whatsoever. And it's really annoying. We've all been there before. Where we've just like, oh, look. A duplicate, even some high top tier. Especially like during the end of the FIFA cycle. You know, you get a team in the season duplicate. You're like, what the? I'm like, really? I'm actually discarding a duplicate player. But there you see. I used that 83 Xhaka. Convert him into an XP trainer. Put the XP trainer on my 88 Xhaka. And now all of a sudden he's a 91 Granite Xhaka. You know, so these cards are usable, you know. But here we are. So we get five iconic moment players out of any of these players. So obviously Ruben Ege, Becca Bauer, Rijkaard, Nedved, Del Piero, Beckham, Hullet, Iniesta, Puyol, Vieira, Roberto, Carlos, Torres, Nakata and Inzaghi. I would have been happy with anyone apart from Nakata and Inzaghi. They were the two that I just didn't want. And the good thing is there's 16 players, right? So by the way, we get these five picks just because we had a certain amount of icons on PES 2020 before. I think it was more than like 10 icons throughout the whole year on PES 2020. Which, if you play PES any specific amount, you're going to have more than them players. Trust me. It's, if you don't have more than 10 icons and you've been playing PES all year, you are doing something severely, severely, severely wrong, my friend. Because it's really not that hard to get these type of players. You know what I'm saying? So, and the good thing is you get 16 of them, okay? So you get 16 of them. But, after everyone goes off, Okay, so say we open one, you then can't get that one again. So that 16 goes to 15, and then 14, and then 13. So I will pack five different ver I will pack five different ones of these cards, you know? But like, I really will. Which again is something that how many times do you open a pack on FIFA and genuinely get like the same player back to back in a pack? It's just little things like this that give you an increase of a chance of getting better things on Pez, which I do think Pez do very well. One little bad thing that I do think Pez do is it is very easy. But I understand why they do this. So I'm just my mind's all over the place while I'm talking it. I understand why they do this because the player base is nowhere near as big as what FIFA is, you know? Like it is nowhere near as big at the end of the day. So what they have to do is they have to give you a reason to come and play the game. And the reason that they give you to come play the game is because of how easy it is to get a very stacked and very good team. You see here, I'm going to have five of these players literally without even spending a pen, without even doing anything apart from just logging onto the game for the first time. I'm going to get five of these absolute super juice players. And by the way, look at how nice this pack opening. Oh, mate. How clean does that look? Oh, mate, it looks orgasmic, doesn't it? Now, the first one we get, remember, we get five of these. The first one we get is... I can't even remember the first one we got. Who was the first one? I oh, what I thought it was. So, the first one that we get is a 92-rated David Beckham. And I actually had this exact card on PES 2020 as well. So, obviously, maybe Beckham watches my YouTube videos and my Twitch channel. You never know. But yeah, this David Beckham's an absolute beast. You don't actually play him right midfield. You play him centre mid, and I promise you, this David Beckham is an absolute baller. Especially in centre mid, he's honestly absolutely insane. But this is what I mean, though. So just for, like, picking up the game and turning it on, bam, I've got myself a 92-rated David Beckham that I could put straight into my team. It's little things like this that Pez really need to... that FIFA really need to look at, because as the years are going on now, in my opinion... It is getting more and more pay to win. The top tier cards are getting more and more exclusive. You know, you really are having to put money on to get... Uh, if you run... I'm running a road to glory on this new fever coming up. There's no way I'm getting moments on on. There's no way in hell. Come the end of the year, there is absolutely no chance in hell that I'm getting a moments on on. Now, you see here in iconic moments number two. Who did I get in number two? I can't actually remember who I got in number two. Yes, I do. Who do you think it is? If you've seen the tattoo, you know who it is. If you know who it like, you know who it is. El Nino. Fernando Torres. Absolute beast of a card. He's abs he's at by the way, I've you'll see some gameplay highlights at the end of this video as well with this team that I'll get. This Fernando Torres card is an absolute beast, I promise you. He's so so good. He's absolutely rapid. And 
It's really weird. His left foot is actually pretty good. <laughs> I don't know whether Pez have messed something up or something, but like his left foot is actually quality. But yeah, of course, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys forever. But this is what I mean though. So Pez doesn't have a big player base. So what could or not that he doesn't have a big player base. Compared to FIFA on my team numbers and things like this, the player base is very, very, very small. And I feel sorry for Konami. Their budget isn't anywhere near FIFA's. People expect Pez to be able to compete with FIFA, and it's just not because they're in they're in different stratospheres in terms of their finances. They really are. They're on completely different universes. So a lot of us guys that come for FIFA expect things to like kind of be the same as FIFA on Pez, and, and they're not going to be. You know, Pez just Konami just can't afford to do some of the stuff that FIFA do. Konami can't afford to get the licensing that FIFA can do. You know. By the way, I know I've said it before, but how clean is this like pack opening? Like, oh, mate, I love the red of those. Like, oh, mate, it just looks so nice. And I think it was number three who I think it was. Who was number three? Del Piero. Oh, this card's a beast. So we do get Del Piero. He was an absolute beast. You'll see from the game at the end how good this card is. This card's incredible. We do get 92 rated Del Piero. And this is what I mean, though. So just from turning on the game, we're already rocking a 92 David Beckham, an 89 Fernando Torres, and a 92 Del Piero, and a 91 Granit Xhaka. I haven't been on the game more than 10 minutes. Everything you see right now is literally the first time I went on Pets. The first... 11 minutes of me being on the game. You know what I mean? It is genuinely mind-boggling how easy it is to get a good team. Especially on a Thursday and Monday, they do drop new things. So, like, Team of the Week agents, stuff like that. Always, like, an iconic moment series agents. Normally, like, a Juventus or an Arsenal featured squad. You know, like, special versions and then players. So, definitely something that you want to be looking at. I definitely, if I were you guys... Excuse me. If you are like me and you just love football, 100% give Pez a go, man. Because... I've been FIFA through, when I say FIFA through and through, I mean, in terms of, I've always been FIFA on my team. Oh, my team was the game changer for me. I used to be Pez till about Pez 07. Then all my team come about and bam, that's the game changer for me. All my team was lit. Now this, guys, is the big one that we did get. If any of you guys know who we got, I'll give you a clue. It's in the thumbnail. You've seen his dreads right now. Possibly the best player ever on FIFA on my team. We get him day one at Pez. You tell him, Rudy boy. We go and get a 92 rated Rudy. Oh my lord. What an absolute animal and a beast this card is, by the way. He's so good in game. I don't think he's I don't think his best position is the cam. You guys see that I do play you guys see at the end. I do play 4-3-1-2, so four uh, narrow on FIFA. And I do play Rude Hullet in that cam roll. And I don't think he's the best in cam. I do think he's definitely a lot better suited for like a centre mid. I The way I play football, even in general, whether it's FIFA or Pez, I play it very... I like to have a very slow, a very small, agile cam. And obviously Rude Hullet just isn't that. But my God, look at them stats. I mean... He really is like the Rude Hullet of FIFA. That I do promise you. He's an absolute animal. He's absolutely incredible. That was the one I wanted. I either wanted... Rumenege, Hulle or Vieira, they were like the three that I wanted because Rumenege was an absolute beast on PES 2020, by the way. Like, I mean, an absolute beast. Or Beckenbauer was the other one that I did want as we then finally get into our last iconic moment. So again, we've got these five iconic moment players just for picking up the game and having it last year. Simple as that. So honestly, guys, I just said to you, right? Who did I want? I wanted Beckenbauer and Hulle. Oh. 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 Yeah. I think we've completed PES 2021 already. Not only 14 minutes being into the game, and I think we've already completed PES 2021, you know. Simple as that. Might as well shut it down now. We've already got the best team on the game. <laughs> nah, I'm missing. I mean, we haven't, by the way, because I play some teams that you, you might see tomorrow in tomorrow's video. That... Woo! Let's spend some moolah. Cool but um, anyway, as I was saying... If you guys are like me, where you are just general football fans, I'm not really a FIFA fan. I much I love FIFA and I love Ultimate Team. I'm just a football fan at the end of the day. So, definitely go and pick up Pez. One thing I will say is, don't try and play it like FIFA because they are very different, completely ends of the spectrum in video game. As you guys see my team here, 93 Beckenbauer, 91 Xhaka, Beckham, Hulle, Del Piero, Fernando Torres. They are a load of white balls and white balls are like the worst. They're absolute doo-doo. So hopefully to, uh, tomorrow when the new agents drop, I might do an agents pack opening video for you guys on YouTube actually along with some gameplay highlights as well at the end. 
But here we are, seeing the team as we go into our first ever game of Pez. If any of you guys have ever seen Pez gameplay before, you're about to see it. It's interesting, Pez gameplay. I actually like it. But if you are coming from FIFA, I will totally understand. Like me, I come from FIFA. But if you've never played a Pez before, those first two or three games, you're going to be like, what the hell is this? Because it is so, so, so different from FIFA. It's a lot slower. It's a lot more, the passing's a lot more methodical. You have to be a lot more precise. You can't just spam skill moves. It's really doing it. plays a lovely ball into Del Piero. And what did I say, by the way, about Del Piero? An absolute beast. And if you put the Juventus kit on with the Del Piero, you get a boost to Del Piero. Or if I put a Milan kit on for Hullet, Hullet gets a boost. If I put a Man United kit on for Beckham, Beckham gets a boost. If I put an Athletic on Madrid kit on for Torres, he gets a boost, etc. Buying for Beckham Bauer and things like this. By the way, look at this. Oh! Shut it down, I beg. Shout out Kurt. What a legend. What, have, what has my Del Piero just done to him? I've actually sold him, man. I've actually sent this guy to the grave. This guy is six feet under and he doesn't even know why. He doesn't even know what I've done to him. It's Granny Jacker's patrol. You see what I mean, though, about the passing being a lot more methodical? Look, oh, I love the build of Del Piero. Oh. What am I done? What have I done to him? I've actually ended his Pez career. I'm, I shouldn't be on this game. I should be on FIFA and I'm ending careers already, you know? It's as simple as that. My guy doesn't even know what time of day it is. He's out here. He should be playing Batonk or whatever it's called. What all the old people play. He shouldn't be playing Pez, mate. You're on, a, you're on the wrong game, bro. Now, here we go. We're going to game number two. Now, this guy was an absolute beast, by the way. You see me give the ball away on my centre-back. Not good. I knew he was going to pass it across. Boom, 1-0 down within four minutes. That's not what we want in just our second game of the My Club. But, Hullet into Varney. Back to Hullet. What can Rude Hullet do? Back to Varney. Back to Hullet. Oh, my Lord. What are we doing to this guy? Oh, what are we doing to him? No. No. Are we going Pez Pro, boys? Let me know in the comments. Are we, are we going to Pez Pros? This is what I want to know. Are we all of a sudden going to be rocking up to these Pez events and winning money? That's what I want to know. Because all of a sudden... Oh, it's a great save, but you guys don't even know what we do to this man here. Watch this first time fake shot with Fernando Torres. We are officially Pez pros now. This is simple as that. We're, we're rocking up to these Pez events and we're going, we're going all out. But thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please, please, please make sure to... Wait, how do you get out of it? Boom, boom, boom. Please, please, please make sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you do want more Pez videos, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know in the comment section also if you guys are going to be trying Pez. I personally will be playing it definitely up until FIFA 21. And I, if you guys still love the YouTube series, I'll probably keep it going as well alongside my Road to Glory on FIFA and, of course, the tutorials, things like that. But this is going to be the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.